In this video, I am going to explain movement of shoulder joint and scapula. Then I will explain why movement of scapula is so important for shoulder joint. I will explain movement of shoulder joint first. I will change this guy's position. First thing first, this movement is flexion. In real body, this is flexion. Flexion, flexion. And this is extension. Extension is putting the arm this way. Flexion, extension. These are two movements, right? Of course, there are more movements. This movement is abduction, opening up your arm. This is adduction. Adduction is closing armpit. Abduction, adduction. And there are rotational movement. This is internal rotation of shoulder joint. Internal rotation is like this way. The other way is external rotation. External rotation. Make sense? Internal rotation. External rotation. So far, I explained six movements, right? Flexion, extension. Two movements. Abduction, adduction. Four movements. Internal rotation, external rotation. So far, six movements I described, but there are more. So, you raise up arm this way and you close arm this way. This is like dumbbell fly movement, right? This movement is horizontal adduction. Opening up arm is horizontal abduction. And there is one more movement. You kind of move shoulder or arm this way, like all the way around. So this movement is called circumduction. Circumduction. I think this circumduction is very important. In a therapeutic situation, I usually check circumduction to check range of motion. So I think circumduction is pretty much important. So these are movement of shoulder joint. So next thing, I will describe movement of scapula. In this model, scapula is kind of fixed. I cannot move, so I will use different model. So this is separated model. This is right scapula, right shoulder joint. And first movement is this movement. Closing up your shoulder blade this way. This movement is retraction or scapula adduction. Retraction or adduction of scapula. Remember, this is not adduction of shoulder joint. Remember, shoulder adduction is this way. Scapula adduction is this way. Remember, you need to remember this. And opening up scapula, this movement is abduction or protraction. Retraction, protraction. Adduction, abduction. So this is a closing or opening up scapula movement. And there's this dimensional movement. This is elevation. You kind of shrink your shoulder. This is elevation. Elevation. And this is depression. Elevation and depression. Elevation, depression. These four movements are kind of linear movement, right? It's like horizontal movement or vertical movement, linear movement. But there are two other movements about rotation. This movement is downward rotation. It's like going down. It looks like going up, but this movement is downward rotation. This way is upward rotation. Good way to remember is in upward rotation, shoulder faces up. In downward rotation, shoulder faces down. Of course, this is kind of exaggeration, but a good way to remember is 
in upward rotation, shoulder faces upward. Downward rotation, shoulder faces down. These two rotational movements are very important for shoulder movement. You cannot abduct 90 degrees only from shoulder joint. Your scapula needs to move as well. When I want to abduct 90 degrees, scapula must move as well. In this 90 degrees, 60 degrees is from shoulder joint but other 30 degree is from scapula so ratio is like 2 to 1 if you want to move like 180 degrees the 120 degrees is from shoulder joint and 60 degree is from scapula so if I want to move 90 degrees your scapula needs to do upward rotation for 30 degrees if I want to abduct 180 degrees, your scapula needs to move 60 degrees. The 120 is from shoulder joint and 60 degrees is from scapula because ratio is 2 to 1. This complex of scapula and shoulder joint movement is called scapulohumeral rhythm. Scapulohumeral rhythm. So if scapula is very tight or shoulder guard muscles which attach on scapula are very tight, you cannot move your shoulder joint freely. I repeat again, because scapula and shoulder must move together. So that's why I am explaining shoulder joint movement and scapula movement together. These two places are very important to move your shoulder joint freely. So in this video, I explained the movements of shoulder joint and scapula. And I explained why movement of scapulas is important. So this is today's video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in next video.